Hi, this is Dasbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades. Well, we just got done talking to a Gino Sphinx here on level three of the dungeon, and she gave us some very useful information, like the location of the last key and directions to an armory. Yeah, you know, the armory on this level, and I think the the last key is. Ah, uh, farther up. Ah, uh, on level one. However, she then pushed us back out of her room. So hopefully we can go back into her room and through this time. Otherwise, we're really going to be stuck. So let's have a go at that. Okay, she seems to be gone now. Well, I guess we rescued her so she was able to leave and go wherever she wanted to. Okay, there might be some enemies out in the hallway. Yeah, you hear a noise to the north. You see large shapes silhouetted in the doorway. Let's combat. And the giants attack. So we have, we should have three fire giants and five heck hounds confronting us and remembering that fire giants have a ton of coin on them so we want to be very careful about taking their coin let's see if fire giants are affected by fire spells because Fireball would certainly have the longest range. Mm, no. Fire giants are immune to fire, so don't use fireballs against them. Ice ball it is, then. Uh, that doesn't work. We try lightning bolt. Or ice storm. Okay. And... Oh, if possible, I'd try moving them a little bit closer because I don't think they're close enough for Ice Storm. But everybody else is in front of them. Okay, looks like... Hmm. Oh. Okay, looks like that's the best I can do if I want to reach the fire giants also. Let's try starting at the same spot. Okay, let's move our frontline fighters a little bit closer so our spellcasters can move a bit closer. And that's another reason why I want to move them closer so we can prevent the fire giants from throwing boulders at us. Okay, well, at least there aren't any Medusas here, so Teresa can go ahead and use her staff sling. Necklace of Missiles would not do any good in this situation because of course that's a fire base spell or fire base spell type effect oh I over here should surely be able to reach them he had the long sword v giants and he missed good grief Oh, 
Okay, let's try another ice storm. Actually, that looks like a pretty good spot because that'll keep over here out of range. Oh, we only have the one fire giant left. Excellent. Um, actually, I think I should break right, so hopefully, yeah, you should still have line of sight for a magic missile spell. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll have Teresa switch back. We will have to remember to rememorize spells. Ah, and my son's come down to eat lunch. A little over 6,000 XP. And the treasure is just platinum. Okay, I think first... Eh, no, it doesn't look like... Pox can he heal anybody just now anyway. I'm going to go ahead and share, but then I'm going to look through each character and see if any of them need to dump some of their loot. <clears throat> okay. Hosita's going to have to dump stuff. And then we'll check Vala. <coughs> okay. No, 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 no. Don't want that. Don't want that. View. Yep, that looks good. And we'll just leave the rest of that platinum. And now it's in camp, and I'm going to try to heal and rememorize spells, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, fix the party, fix myself with a dose of healing potion. And we're ready to continue. Okay, around this way. Then south for a bit. Yeah, do south for quite a bit. Do south until we can't go south anymore. You hear footprints from somewhere behind you. The image of a raving madman forms before you. You grow tiresome, it says. This dungeon is mine. You will pass no further. Through the image you see stacks of weapons, shields, and other equipment. What do you do? Oh, let's get the treasure anyway. Enough! It screams. You'll be destroyed now! The image disappears. And you hear loud noises from the door. Umber hulks charge to the door. And... There might be something right behind them, too. Okay. Well, not yet. I guess it's a two-wave battle. Hmm. 
wonder. Try moving there. Okay, let's see if we can manage a fireball. Okay, that might work. Quite a lot of damage. Oh, it doesn't affect as many of them as I'd like. <coughs> oh, that one ran. Yeah, that looks good. Doesn't quite get that last one though. Okay, let's just try a magic missile on the one that's very close to us. Now we can move our fighters out to try to track down that one that ran around the corner. Okay, and we'll have her switch to her bow. Then assuming Elodan can get somewhere close enough that he's got line of sight to that Umber Hulk. Nice magic missile to do. I stayed out of melee contact with him because quite likely it would have injured Elodan so that he would have had to use something off one of his scrolls or wands. No, okay. Evil laughter echoes through the dungeon. The Pyrohydra's attack! Yeah, I thought I heard something about pyrohydras. Okay, looks like at least five. Maybe six. I don't know, actually Teresa could have used her necklace of missiles. I just didn't think of it. Okay, well we got one power hydra down. Okay. Let's see if fireball works on them. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks good. Oh, very good. The ones that didn't make their saving throw were killed outright. That should do. Good! Fantastic! For 12,000 gold, or experience, six gems, no, six jewelry, and a ton of gems. And then this should be, all right, a longsword plus three, plate plus three, a flail plus four, and a shield plus four. So let's figure out who should get what.
Okay, Pox can heal El Elver here. And so now we don't have to do a fix. Okay, he's got plate plus three, shield plus three. Three. Longsword plus three. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, he's got a long sword. Plus three. Okay. Possibly Pox could use the flail, but let's see if. Okay, Teresa already has a mace plus four. Flail plus four will do marginally more damage, so we could say then trade the mace plus four to, I don't know, somebody like Pox. Okay. So why don't we have Teresa take the flail, and then we'll have her equip that. And then we'll trade the mace plus four to Pox. Oh, maybe later. <coughs> yeah, or Gimla could use it. Okay, we'll give. Uh, no. Right. Uh, we'll have Teresa give her mace plus four to Gimli. And it looks like everybody's got shields plus three and plate plus three if they can wear plate at all. So we'll just pick whoever. Alright, Teresa's the strongest, so probably would make the most sense to give her some of this junk to carry. Yeah, because she's got that girdle of storm giant strength. Okay, so let's encamp, and then we're going to rememorize spells off camera and be right back. Okay, so we're back. That was the small armory that the Gino Sphinx had told us about. And we are very close. Mm. To the stairs going up to level two. The image of a raving madman forms before you. You can answer my riddle or fight my warders. Choose. We'll answer. Don't mind that. One word, it says. Give me one word to answer my riddle. Ah, it's the eighth and final riddle. You feed it, it lives. You give it something to drink, it dies. What is it? Well, this is what's been melting the ice around here. Fire. The image disperses in a puff of smoke. And we see stairs. Okay, so now we are facing east. Okay, hallway here. Now,
啊。Yeah, there is a teleporter on this level, but it's, there's kind of a tricky path to get to it. But for now, I think we'll start by going through this door here in the south wall. And some more Umber Hulks. And they're all in a row, so if I could get in position right in front of them, that would be so perfect for lightning bolts. <laughs> you know, in fact, I think I'm going to have Gimli back up. And switch to his bow so we can get one of the mages in there to cast a lightning bolt <gasps> okay Okay, now let's try a lightning bolt. They're just so beautifully lined up for that. Okay. Okay, now we just have the one number Hulk left. <coughs> we gotta keep Eladan out of melee range. Yeah. Beautiful. And they didn't even ha have a chance to use their gaze attack. No treasure. That's okay. Oh. Okay, we're going to remember our spells real quick and then we're going to head back the way we came. So hang on. Okay, we're back. So let's go back the way we came and continue north. You see that door there? We're going to go in through there. And Pyrohydras are guarding a, la a large treasure. What do you do? Let's attack. I think we'll finish up this battle and then it'll be time to take a break. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see where the... Oh. Okay, she might be able to do a lightning bolt again. They seem to be lined up along that back wall. And then Gimli really needs to switch back to his sword and shield. Okay, good. Okay, let's have him try a lightning bolt. 
Hopefully he can get it off before the pyrohydras. Okay. Oh, good. There are only four pyrohydras. I thought it said six. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the other two. Okay, it's just that last one up in the corner now. <sighs> yeah, I've got top gear running on the TV in the living room. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Well, at least that was all the damage that the pyrohydras did. Oh, look at that! Over 10,000 experience! So, quite a lot of platinum, fair amount of gems and jewelry. And, okay, here, these are all random items, but they're all magical. So we've got a couple of mage scrolls, shield, longsword, composite, short bow, and a mace. So we'll decide who gets what, and rest, heal, remember I spells off camera, and then when we come back, we will continue looking through here and try to find another teleporter back to the well of knowledge. So we will see you then.